Hello, housemates, and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. I'm Lethe, and we're trying to recover ourselves, get our equilibrium back, after, you know, a number of, even if they were successful, unpleasant missions. You can see that for weeks and weeks now, Lethe has had vampiric spirits. He's not had time to rest and go to the sanitarium to get rid of it. And no one else has had much chance to rest either. You can see we have some seriously stressed out people. Now, we also have some requests for names. Uh, we have a request for a jester to be named. That means, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to have to find another jester. But we do have a bounty hunter that we can name after. And here we go. Whiskey Mike. All right, Whiskey Mike, it seems like a great name for a bounty hunter. Uh, Whiskey Mike seems like someone who smells like peat, cigar smoke, has a gravelly voice, and brooks no resistance. And that's exactly what we want on this kind of adventure. So, let's see where we stand. Um, we have a small amount of cash, not really enough to both provision a significant adventure and also get some... Uh, like training done, we, we simply do have to re relieve some stress, however. We have four people sitting here with afflictions, and that's just not going to work. Um, let's see, all of them but one are already in some stress release, so uh, we did some of that at the end of last mission. Um, we may just have to deal with leaving <clears throat> Verdun uh, with his affliction. We also need to take care of some diseases. Digby, I believe, has the Black Plague, is that right? Yeah, and this is really nasty, and we need need to get rid of that. So let's look in the sanitarium. Excuse me. It's cold outside and I was running earlier so for hours after I run in the cold, it's like 23 degrees here, I'm, I have a bunch of uh, little coughs. Uh, so I'm not ill, it's just, I don't know what it is. It happens to everyone pretty much. So I apologize for that. Now, we have plenty of busts and crests so we can uh, upgrade a little bit here. Um, I think that we want to Upgrade this. Now, curious methodologies and apparatus huh? can calm even the most tormented soul. Yes, curious methodologies. Uh, I think they mean mostly enemas, right? I don't know if any of you ever watched. Uh, what is it? It's not Bram Stoker's Dracula. Dracula Dead and Loving It. Maybe it's in both of them actually. They're constant. No, I think they say it once or twice in the Bram Stoker's Dracula, which has Tom Waits and uh, Gary Oldman and all these great actors in it. They say it once or twice, and then of course in Dracula Dead and Loving It, which is a Liam Neeson, uh, not Liam Neeson, jeez, Leslie Nielsen um, uh, parody. They are constantly talking about giving people enemas uh, because you know there were trendy. Uh, there, there are always trendy medical uh, procedures, and at some point, enemas uh, were trendy. <clears throat> so that's probably what's going on. I don't see how that would relieve any stress, but you know, I don't have an MD. In any case, we're going to put Digby in here, get rid of the Black Plague. It's, not, it's nice and cheap, so we don't need to worry about it. Um, Whiskey Mike has a disease. Whiskey, little, Whiskey Mike has a number of diseases. Uh, we need to put him in as well. So you're not going to see any action after your rebaptism. Uh, which one of these is worse? Probably the damage on the bounty hunter. Uh, no, we're not sure that the enemas will help you, Whiskey Mike. <clears throat> so uh, we're left with a small crew to work with. We do have an occultist, which I really like. And I would really like to name the occultist after someone. So if you're watching and you want to be involved with dark powers, let me know. And the occultist will bear your name. Let's see who is available at the stagecoach. It looks like we've already hired from here. We probably hired this um, um, occultist last time. And I don't really want more grave robbers right now, so we're not going to deal with that. Uh, we don't have much in the way of deeds or portraits. Let's see. We've already done some upgrading here. We can do a little upgrading here, and we should. Um, we should really get armor smithing first, and then we're gonna get a deed. We only need one. I'm sure we can get it in the next mission, and then we'll upgrade the furnace, and we can actually start upgrading people um, here. Oh, is my, is the color off on this? Uh, 
my apologies. Uh, my sort of monitor color muter uh, for when it gets darker was on and uh, that was distorting the color, so I apologize for that. <clears throat> okay, now everything should be nice and crisp. And as I was saying, we will definitely, almost assuredly, get one deed, uh, even if we don't succeed the next mission, and then we can upgrade our furnace and start paying to get people's armor better. And that will be of great help to us. So let's see what we can do today. <clears throat> uh, Pekoth is ready to go. Not used her much. So we are not ready for a wizened hag, not even close. Three infected corpses. We could get ourselves this. That's pretty good. The feeling we went over all this at the end of the last episode. Um, and I may have resolved to go after this. A nice short thing, no camping. Um, so let's see what kind of we can build. Plague Doctor. Plague Doctor Occultist is a great combo. Uh, not only because they're both very macabre, but also because they're healing. You know, so the occultist can do the heal, which might cause bleed. And then, of course, if it does cause bleed, <laughs> excuse me, the plague doctor can uh, just come along and cure that. So who do we have remaining? We can put Fwop and Lethe in. Um, so Fwop may, excuse me, Lethe may have vampiric spirits, but um, they do not dampen his spirits. So let's do this. We are a mixed bag. I like it. So we are going on a short skirmish in the Warrens. The Warrens are where we have pig folk, I think. Is that right? Uh, yes, pig folk. And uh, we are going to get this occultist item now that we have an occultist. Uh, it's pretty good. Lots of extra damage and crit against Eldritch, uh, which will come in handy against particular bosses and against particular enemy types as well. I think the Cove uh, has eldritch critters, so we can slap those fish people with our doom tentacles and make it hurt a lot. Uh, that sounds like good fun to me. So, let's make sure that everyone has the skills and whatnot that I want them to use. That looks good. We don't have to worry about camping skills. Good. We need to make sure that they have, these two have the combination that we need. There's no battlefield healing, so we definitely need to get that before we go. <clears throat> he has the heal. Um, we might want to get a curse. That would be 1800 to buy two new skills, one for each of those characters. Um, that would leave us with a fairly thin margin uh, for provisioning, so we might just leave him with this sacrificial stab. So let's back up for a minute and do some training. <clears throat> All right. Leith and Fwop. Leithy. Fwop. It's amazing how many times I can't say my own name. Uh, Cormier is going to get some battlefield medicine. Um, so that leaves with 14, excuse me, 40, 40. I think we will leave that where it is and um, try not to spend any more cash there. <clears throat> okay, yes, we're still a mixed bag. You are going to get rid of incision in favor of battlefield medicine. Noxious blast, that's great, good, wonderful. And you, we're going to keep with what you have. You have the heal, you have the mark target, you have the abyssal artillery. All right, let's provision. Uh, wait, let's make sure we don't... We have no trinkets. What a surprise. Do we really have no trinkets at all? We have a couple. One on the bounty hunter. This one we can take with us. Let's go ahead and put it on flop. It's got the book. One of the few books in this game that does not drive you crazy, uh, stress you out big time. Um, but... It's really helpful. Okay, let's go. All right, food. Delicious food. Three snacks. Hopefully won't need that many snacks, but also have some for healing purposes. Uh, the Warrens. Let's take two shovels. Let's take one key. Two medicinal herbs. Good. Yeah, so we were on the razor's edge there. We had, we just didn't have enough for another skill. Uh, we obviously could have sacrificed one of these small items, but you never know when they may come in handy, so I'd rather have them, I think. <clears throat> Let's go into the Warrens. The swine are resistant to disease thanks to their unclean living. <clears throat> yeah, doesn't always work that way. Um, if you were to live in 
squalor. I don't think you would suddenly become disease resistant. It's uh, their long, uh, generations long breeding and filth that has led them to this resistance. They breed quickly down there in the Quickly. Dark. See, their generations are but short. We can slay them That's right. Faster. I took biology. Okay, so room battles. We don't necessarily have to explore everything. We might get lucky. Uh, we're going to go down first. It doesn't really matter. Okay, are we in the order we want to be in? Yeah. Well, we could put Fwop in front so that he gets a first turn point blank shot. Uh, he's relatively fast. Yeah, so, and then, yeah, let's do that. Lead the way, Fwop. Do, 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 do. Okay, some nasty scrawlings. So, sometimes bad things happen when you pour. Uh, oh, I just noticed that there are nipples on there. Oh, that's gross. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, um, who do we want to do this with? Uh, let's go with the occultist. I mean, there are occult scrawlings after all. That's not really a great reason to do it, but here we go. Oh no. Uh, what happened? It didn't tell me what happened. Did, did anything happen? Is it a debuff? I don't know what just happened. It seems like nothing. Okay, well, that's fine. Ah, oh, stupid. Ambushed by foul invention. Shut up. Okay, no fight here. Ah, good, we get a scout. That's helpful. All right, we'll have a fight. Um, we're just gonna... We're, oh, sorry. We're just gonna power through it. All right. Okay, we get that starting point blank shot. Uh, we are very likely to kill this, so that's good. Bye-bye. Okay, so... We can stun just the vomit pig. Uh, I'd be happy to stun the, stun the vomit pig. Oh wait, wrong plague doctor, we don't have that. We can plague the vomit pig, I will do that. I was thinking of Quasar. So we can only hit the vomit pig with this. No one needs to be healed really, so let's put a vulnerability hex on this guy so we can chop him down faster. Vomit pig vomits inaccurately. It's like narrow range uh, point defense vomit. It doesn't have a widespread. Okay, stunning blow. Um, he's already acted. We'll do damage on him. Let's do that. Okay, stunned. Could do a little healing on this guy. These are not Eldritch, so this doesn't help too much. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and heal. Resisted the bleed, that's good. Okay. Four to eight. Four to eight and bleed, that's clearly better. That vomit did hit. I mean, I totally... Ooh, I would totally be stressed out if some, you know, strange, gimpy-legged man-pig vomited on me. It's not a pleasant experience. Three to seven. Let's go for the pretty much guaranteed kill unless we miss. There we go. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. And four damage. You're gonna die. Um, we don't really need to get any buffs. Or, we could actually we could use a heal on him. So let's shoot the corpse. Oh well, we didn't get another turn. It's worth a shot. Unforgiving. Okay, let's continue. Continue. All right, here's a pile of papers. Um. Let's go with the occultist again. You can read, the rest of us can't. Oh, bummer. An accountant's been here. Uh, let's... No, no, do the order that I tell you. All right, it's probably gonna be a room battle here. So, 
We don't want to be plus hero surprised. Now we're plus monster surprised, and that's much better. But it didn't pay off. Okay. We can't stun. We can get some blighting done, however. Um, that's not the right one. Yeah. Alright. Point blank shot. Get rid of one of these quickly. Maintain the offensive. Munch. Gross. Get your protuberances away from me. No. Worst. Oh, his drum has a face on it. Not cool. Okay, so we get hit two people now. Neither of them are Eldritch. Uh, it's about four to six damage. Or, more likely, we should do some healing. Okay. Um, we six to twelve. We might kill with that. Has already acted, so let's... Yes. Give them no quarter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I want you to battlefield heal. So, this will heal, um, flop, and also cure... Cormier, so that's pretty efficient to do it that way. Okay. More mark drums. Okay. Can't do anything with that. So you are not quite dead. Uh, we can't get you with that. Let's get rid of you as best we can. Okay, good. Destroy. All right, let's continue with the healing. Cultist using his dark magic to mend your wounds. Ooh, ouch. Um, so you can't reach them with anything, so you need to do this. Clear a corpse that way. Okay, we can do some double uh, curing. Nice crit. Munch, munch. Ow. Heal. Ah, oh, you're gonna bleed too, aren't you? Okay, good. You didn't. Um, die. Die more. All right. It's a pretty good haul. I still don't have that one deed that we're desperately looking for. <coughs> Excuse me. Eldritch Altar. Uh, we're going to pour some holy juice on this. I can't remember off the top of my head what it does. So, Flop both has the most stress and some of the nastiest negative quirks, so let's go with him doing this. Yes! I mean, I would have preferred Flawed Release, but, you know, don't look a gift unholy altar in the mouth. So, um, let's just go down this way, see if we can get uh, all the room battles uh, just going straight forward instead of backtracking a little bit. Oh, let's reorder. Yeah, that's what we want. Emptiness. Emptiness is not what we want, but it's what we deserve. Oh. Mind that such missteps mm. are the exception and not the rule. Surprise? No. Alright, this is not good. This is a lot of stress causing, a lot of bleeding. So, um, not much to do other than kill them. We can get you at 815. It's not going to get anywhere near killing you, but what are you going to do? Okay, here comes some bleed. And a debuff. All right, we need to get on to healing here. Got to keep on top of that. Flop's going to Flop's going to get stressed out here. He's going to break pretty soon if that happens a couple more times. All right, so... Uh, he is not gone, it, whatever. So I think we're gonna stun uh, the swine Chapa. Get to the Chapa! 
Uh, I have bad. I've had bad luck in this playthrough with getting stuns to go through. I mean, it's it's not like these are especially resistant or my people are especially bad at stunning. Now, yeah. here's that extra stress that Fwop does not need. Um. Let's just continue slapping blight on those stress causers. Um, four to six. Four to six, we can probably get the wretch, the vomit pig, out of our hair as long as we hit. Um, I think that that's the best idea at this point. We have a nice crit chance, a nice hit chance, solid damage. Yeah. We got rid of one source of stress, and we're going to need to get back to healing with the um, occultist fairly soon. Unless he gets stunned. Like that. Are you stream sniping me, swine joppa? Well, the penalty for that is getting chopped yourself. Okay. Got five hit points left. Not quite going to kill him. This should put him near death's door. Or just kill him outright. Um, so we can clear corpses with this. Shuffle people around. Uh, I don't know how much that's going to be helpful. But we're going to do it anyway. Get a little damage on you. Put you closer to death. Oh, exactly. That was it turned out to be a good move. I should have looked first. Uh, I accidentally did the right thing. Which is not as good as doing it on purpose. Okay. Dodgestone. Medic's Griefs. Oh, that's really good. I like that. That's a good random thing to have found. Uh, put 33% on the Arbalist healing skills, which themselves boost the healing received that uh, for the Arbalist target. So that's really cool. And we finished the quest. So that was a pretty easy going one. Now, granted, it was a very short mission. We should have expected it to be pretty easy, but this is easier even than I might have imagined. But we're not going to stop now. We're in pretty good shape, so we're going to keep going. Uh, Lethe and Fwop don't know when to stop is, uh, is a good way to, to look at this. Continue. All right. We still haven't gotten that deed. That's really, I need to adventure until I get the deed that I'm looking for. All right, we're gonna get a good scout. Okay, there's a combat. We know there are no more room battles, um, but there's some treasure, another combat there. Um, there's a trap up there. Now, depending on how we look after going through the room battle and up to here, we may backtrack. Or not actual backtrack, but re retrace our steps. So let us cure your bleeding, the bandage, um, let's do, we'll eat up one snack's worth of food, just to top everyone off a little bit, still gives us two snack's worth, and that should be enough to at least get some of this stuff. Oh, I'm a kleptomaniac, you can't really steal the map though, or maybe I did, maybe it's just no good to us. Be really dirty if I steal them. Oh, I'm out of bandages. Um, I can get some tetanus. That sounds like a thing that could definitely happen. Um, get some tetanus, the uh, tetanus plague doctor. Or bleed. That was kind of dumb. How bad is it? Uh, it's pretty bad. Six hit points. That was uh, not a good idea. But we're about to get into battle, so. He took one of the bleeds, and now he can cure himself of it. He took two of them. Well, that was a foregone conclusion, really. Um, so we're actually going to apply the healing to the occultist. That was pretty good. All right. We're not going to be able to kill these unless we get a crit. Um, do I want to make sure one of them dies? can't really guarantee it. No, so we'll just go with this. Am 
might have been a mistake. Lots of stress, stunning diseases that you can get from maggots. None of that will apply to you if you dodge them, though. Okay, um, let's heal Levy. Good. Let's wipe out these two. <clears throat> and finish you off. Okay, not some not very Success inspiring treasure. So Let's continue. Let the light or die down since we're not worried about room battle. The light? Keep going. Let's see what this treasure is. It's a torch. Not helpful. Much worse than mere trickery and boogeyman. Okay. Um. I don't want to really backtrack in the pitch dark, even though there's nothing much to gain from going forward here. Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. So there's a treasure, a fight, and a trap. Uh, I don't think that's worth it, so we're going to call it here, even though we didn't get that deed that we wanted. So, that's a lot better than <laughs> the mission before, where though we succeeded, it was at a high cost, and the mission before that, where we just miserably failed. I believe that's when we lost our Vestal. So we get a total of 4,000 something, which will put us at a little bit less than where we started, but that's to be expected given that we bought some skills, or a skill. We have our first level up, and of course it is Fwap and Levy. What did I acquire? Early Riser. Yep. At least earlier than Fwap. Off Guard and Warren's Explorer. That's not so good, the off guard. High Romania. So he thinks, uh, if I recall correctly, he also thinks he's possessed by demons. He's got a lot of uh, weird supernatural critter complexes going on. Ruins Tactician, that's pretty good. Let us return to the town. We dug for months All right, Eskimo is no longer abusive, that's eternity. good. And we were rewarded Bovin, or Boavin, is experiencing double vision after drinking too much, but is no longer hopeless. She's no longer hopeless because she sees her stack of money and thinks that there's twice as much of it, so uh, that will wear off soon enough. And Ferrer got some stress relief. Cinnamon Bear is no longer fearful. We got a lot of stress relief there. Uh, Whiskey Mike got both of his diseases cured. That's wonderful. And Digby got hers cured. So, all in all, this has been a pretty productive week. And of course, you will note that it goes on a week by week thing. Each adventure provision uh, town use cycle takes a week of time. Uh, I really have no idea how long an average game length will be once the Darkest Dungeon is released. Um, but, you know, we'll find out soon enough. And we hope to be prepared once the release occurs, which will be January 19th, if I remember correctly. <clears throat> And of course, we here at Bleak House, uh, myself and Fwop, will be eagerly awaiting that. And, you know, I can't see why we wouldn't have some kind of live stream event for the official opening of the Darkest Dungeon. For the time being, um, we're going to leave it here and we'll come back and do some selling, looking at the next mission, figuring out who needs to go into stress relief, Fwop, uh, figuring out who needs to go get some shots, Lethe, and. We'll do all that all next time. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. I hope you like all of my content. I've got a couple of series going on now. I hope to add a few more. I will definitely start covering Diablo 3, the new season, when that comes out, I believe, next Tuesday, uh, January 14th, excuse me, uh, January 12th. Um, so I'll be right on top of that whenever it happens this month. <clears throat> and I hope to start a Coder 2, that is Knights of the Old Republic 2 playthrough. That will be a blind playthrough for me. I've only played the first one. I know a lot of people like blind playthroughs, so hopefully you will enjoy that and tune in. So I'm asking you, please subscribe so that you can be aware of all my content when it launches. If you pay attention to Bleak House Gaming on Twitter, you will see uh, announcements when my videos are released each morning. Um, 
And we also have an Instagram account, Bleak House Gaming as well, so that you can see random pictures that we take. Uh, we have all sorts of social media. Look for us, check us out, subscribe to all our channels, like all our videos, uh, and participate in our community. When I get a jester, I will name it after the person who requested for it to be done, which will remain a secret until it actually happens. If you're not doing any of those bajillion things I just mentioned, well, I don't care what you do. 